MashaAllah, what do we have from our SMC family online? MashaAllah everybody is posting lots and putting videos out. I think we, we put out some, some apps that can do the video editing and cut longer app videos into shorter videos and people can put that out. Please don't use our logos, use our colors, use our pictures and post ridiculous political statements. The tariqah never posts any political statement. Anyone crazy enough to make a post of a political statement, do it in your own name if they want to come hunting for you tomorrow. But don't ever put a political statement associated with any of our faces or our names or our organization inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, is this the reality when they say the words of Qur'an will be no more in the last days? Does it refer to people not having enough time to fix themselves? What was that again? Is this the reality when they say the words of Qur'an will be no more in the last days? Does it refer to people not having enough time to fix themselves? No idea what that… how you got from that side to that side but <laughs> I think the, the last days the danger of, of misinterpreting Qur'an, the ignorance of Qur'an because Allah des described Prophet described to holy companions that in the last days the Qur'an the, the knowledge would be lifted, knowledge would be disappearing and the holy companions were fearful that would Qur'an be vanishing. So know that these alam who are awliya when they pass then less of these realities would be apparent upon the earth. And as a result the awliya their hearts they are the fountain and the reality of Islam, Iman wal Maqam al Ihsan. So these are from Umm al Kitab, they are from the reality of Qur'an. What you have now speaking are the people of Furqan. So they'll go back into the talks we described before that Qur'an is the mixture of Prophet within your heart. If Prophet is not in your heart, because Qur'an is reading you. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan, there's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. You, you're not reading it. As Allah's Divinely Speech reads you. You don't read Allah's Divinely Speech. You think you are but it's looking to your eyes more powerful than your smartphone. If it doesn't see within your eyes the love of Prophet it will not leave its encryption, it will remain encrypted and you can only speak of Furqan, right and wrong, right and wrong, right and wrong. That's the danger. If these ashiqeen leave this earth which all the huge ones have packed up and gone, <laughs> so what happens? It's not reading now anymore this sign and as a result it's not giving any more of these knowledges. And all you see now are YouTubes of Furqan, right and wrong, right and wrong. Angry, right and wrong. I did these people who like to do those debates that go out into the park, now they want to box each other to prove they're right. It's like, did you think like oh, ulama did this like uh, you know 50 years ago, 60 go and start to, to do boxing match with the people? 
No, it's just it's, it's, it's lifting, you can see that it's been lifted. As a result now these political arms come out and try to encourage people to burn, jump out onto the street. You never resolve anything on the street because shaitan owns the streets. Anyone who engages and walks onto the street they have left their auzu, and as a result shaitan is with them. What Allah described for people, go to the masjid, make your du'a in the masjid, make your du'a in your heart. If you reach a point in time in which you can't correct things with your hand, you can't correct things with your voice then you have to correct with your heart because oppression is so great what is needed is to correct with the heart. But people know that they don't have a good heart. So they want to go and correct everybody else with their feet and their hands. What are you going to do on the street yelling, screaming, yelling, screaming for change when you don't change yourself? Allah says, I don't change a condition of a people until they change what's within themselves. So what change do people want? Yelling, screaming, yelling, screaming, they won't change, they want go change yourself. If you change yourself and Allah listen to you. Imagine then what would happen to this earth if everybody prayed in such a sincere prayer within their heart that Allah listened to them. So means these are the confusion and fitna of shaitan and we don't engage in it. If they engage in it then best of luck to them and their families whom they represent. So the best fight is internal fight. Fight your devils, fight your shaitans, free yourself and emancipate yourself from the apartheid of yourself. You don't see your own oppression, so fight your own oppression, fight, fight the, the horrible shaitans within ourselves. If you freed yourself from that shaitan you could walk on water. And you would have been Rabbaniyoon and you could say, Kun fayakun. So this is more important, Allah wants and says, take these people, perfect them, teach them how to be perfected so that they are ready and able to be of service to the Divinely Kingdom when that service is required inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. How can we use these holy names of this month, the Ismullah, Isma Rasul, Al Ali, and Muhi in this holy month? You can do the, the dhikr on the app that has the, the name of the parda and to understand that this is the opening of. The Most High and the, the name of Prophet is the reviver and it's the whole studies of the month. It's not a particular thing that you recite and something opens, it's a meditation, tafakkur, contemplation, listening to all the talks, who's the reviver of your heart? These are Allah's giving us the key, it says, if you want to reach Al-Ali the Most High then you need Sayyidina Muhi, the reviver. Well how are you going to get Sayyidina Muhi to revive your heart Well, make your salawats. So these are all of the part of this knowledge, it's not again just you recite one thing and everything opens for you. This is a, like a bead on your tasbih that, Ya Sayyidina Muhi, Muhi al qulubina that please open my heart and make your salawats. That's the name in the Buddha, Muhi Dunub. Muhi al Qulub, Mahi al Dunub, the one whom revives the heart and smashes all of the sins from Qasida Buddha. So it's, it's in everything that we're doing, it's not just one particular thing, but it's an opening of an understanding within our hearts. That in this part then, this month of Surah Yaseen that is dressing and is the heart of Holy Qur'an, then awliya are coming and teaching that this Ismullah al-Ali, the Most High 
its key is Al-Muhi, Sayyidina Muhi so that he opens the heart into the Most High, the Most Divine the Presence and Highest Divine the Presence, Rabbiul Assalamualaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Sayyidi, how do we respectfully handle older family members rocking the boat when the times get very hard? <laughs> yeah, you, that you gotta be keep yourself to be quiet and A little bit of distance always helps. Everyone has a you know a, they have to figure a tactful way, a respectful way on keeping their practices and their belief in a family environment where everybody now is very chaotic. Belief or no belief, families that have no belief they're much more chaotic because they don't have an idea of what's going on so they're very ignorant and angry. And even the ones whom think they have belief are seem to be just as angry. So it's just you have to traverse these mind like a landmine. And in the last days it becomes more and more important just to isolate and keep to oneself and family. So that to keep your sanity and keep the, the level of respect that's necessary and uh, alhamdulillah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Sayyidi, how can we control the fear part of our brain and stop it from getting triggered when we see current events and images being shown to us? Is fear real? Yeah, this is the, the talks on power of your heart versus the, the imagination of the brain. So if people are going to live through their head, they're going to have difficulty because the head is going to convince them of, uh, of, of many negative things. And this is when the practices of the heart have to be stronger, the zikr has to be stronger, tafakkur has to be stronger. They have to put more time into their meditation and to connect. You look at the events on the news very quickly and say, geez everything looks like it's burning, I'm convinced things are in trouble, turn it off and now meditate, connect your heart. You, you have to seek uh, how to resolve this issue and the resolution only comes from Allah that, Ya Rabbi am I good with you and if events come to my home and into my area. Am I good with you? Am I good with Prophet that Ya Rabbi led me to make that connection, feel that connection and to feel the tranquility of your presence and your light and that I have to have good character, I have to have good deeds. So it sets everybody straight. But people don't want to seem to go that route because maybe they, they don't want to communicate with the Divine the Presence and they don't want to set themselves straight and they don't want to stop the bad things that they're doing and that becomes its own problem. But it motivates itself because you see that it's going to be inevitable the difficulties. So when you're, you're convinced that these difficulties are so real Allah has a way of motivating people that it's very real and it's coming very fast. So spend a little bit of time that you have, it may save you from a, a great amount of difficulty. We said that when wars begin to come Allah describes that the, we, we're going to send upon you people whom have no mercy and that becomes a means in which to cleanse people. And if you hear them they say they have no mercy. In their own lips they're saying they have no mercy. And the Allah says in Qur'an that the wars that come ascend upon you people whom have no mercy. So why you want to be clean that way? Better to clean yourself with your own shower, make your zikr, make your tasbih, make your salawat, cry to Allah for forgiveness, let me to draw near to you, to dress me, bless me, be clean, inshaAllah.
Assalamualaikum Sayyidi Walaikum Salaam Rantullah Forgive my bad adab but are we allowed to try to discover who they are claiming is their Messiah? Well they, 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 they already posted his picture everywhere. Don't try to go too deep into it maybe he catch you. <laughs> Do you see the Lord of the Rings when everyone wanted to look at the one eye and then all of a sudden the one eye was, was looking at them? That which you focus on too much focuses back on you. So people who try to investigate shaitans, I want to investigate shaitan, it's more like shaitan is investigating you because he's drawing you near. It's enough to know this problem right there is coming. So draw near to Prophet if you want to investigate, look at the Rosa Sharif, uh, study all of these realities of the Muhammadan haqqaiq so that when you focus on Prophet his nazar focuses back on you, go out and do good deeds. So again this nazar comes back upon you. Everything that we're doing is to teach people so that the holy nazar of Prophet comes back upon us to uplift us, dress us, bless us, most of all protect us inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Taala. So how do we increase our love and magnetism to our shaykh? Your good deeds and, and good actions, we described that before. Build your relationship with the shaykh. You know the good deeds that you do and then giving hamburgers is one thing but you have to have a relationship with the shaykh. The hamburgers can only get you so far. We said when you do charitable actions that allows your ticket to sit into their association, spiritual association. Without those good deeds they don't sit in the spiritual associations of the shaykhs. That got you the ticket to come into their association. Now that you're in the association, what we had in the, in the Urdu words that the, they were reciting, Anjuman Atisha Gul, the Anjuman Atisha Gul, right? This is association, this is why all these knots teach this. Your physical is one thing but you listen to the advice and you go out and do charitable and good things, your soul now has access into their anjuman, into their association of what? The fire, the atisha good, the beautiful flame of this reality in the presence of Prophet Then your life is about how to draw near to the shaykh so that you're always under the nazar of the shaykh with your good deeds, good actions, communicating and all that's required to build that relationship. So that's uh, essential. But you'd be surprised how many people don't do anything like that. And that's, that's you know whatever shaitan is telling them there's a reason. Sometimes people don't want to communicate at all and they think, oh I just keep in respect. No. They don't communicate all because they don't want any feedback on what they're doing. They want to do what they want to do by themselves and to follow this, this way of uh, takhleed and to follow somebody requires the feedback. Doesn't mean you listen but put our lives on doing this we take the feedback. Put the comments, put the nazar, do all of the things necessary to build that relationship with the shaykh so that the nazar of the shaykh is upon that student and uplifting them with their nazar, not with the, the deeds of the student. Their deeds are to bring them to a, a certain level but what lifts them is the nazar. That when the shaykh's content and happy with the actions of the student their soul lift them like a rocket into the presence of where the shaykh is sitting, not into the presence where the student is trying to achieve. You can climb a mountain and every deed you do it's like a, when you're climbing a mountain they have like a little peg, they put it in, they go up about two feet, you do another good deed, you put a peg, you put your rope, you keep… all your actions are taking you but the nazar immediately like the shaykh has uh, already like an elevator. He, take you up and shoot up to the top of where he's already, he's not climbing the mountain with you. He already went to the mountain, came down to catch people. He's not climbing a mountain with you and trying to figure out where to go. He, he reached a state of death before and he was asked by Allah that either you die in your seclusion and take your station 
or grant you a higher station if you come back to earth and deal with people. So guidance and isharat is that level that they already did this process. Now they came back to bring droves of people back on their path. So the student is, is slowly climbing, climbing until they can reach to the nazar. If they reach to the nazar in one instant the shaykh can shoot them all the way into that presence. Now they try to keep that presence with their good deeds, good character, good actions. If they fall under the prey and under the, the difficulties of shaitan like when mountain climbing again they fall. They'll fall and hopefully they have their deeds have been pegged into the mountain so that their fall is not so severe. They'll go down 20 feet, 50 feet. But then if they start to talk bad and have bad actions shaitan is convincing them to now even cut their rope. So sometimes you watch a, a mountain climbing movie when they fall and the weight of them is too many on this one peg you see the person begin to cut their rope and they sacrifice themselves. So all of these are immense analogies in this path of you know moving up these mountains of realities because the shaykhs are like mountains. So traversing that we do with our good deeds trying to go up that mountain and up that reality. But to be under their nazar is then the, the secret of their launching them into that presence. And that's by building their relationship with the shaykh and their khidmat, their service. There are people whom are you know running everything. They did an entire uh, milad in Pakistan. So the, the jama there, you know the, the amount of himma they have. Again in India and in all of the cities that we have our food programs, our events, all of the, the books that are being published, articles that are being published, these are by students whom they only operate by the khidmat, by service. So that they can be under the nazar of the shaykhs and from their shaykh to shaykh all the way to Prophet and I'm witnessing every single event, every single book, every single article is witness because it's all artillery against shaitan. Every book is a weapon that comes out to attack shaitans and attack ignorance. Every article that comes out is a weapon against shaitan. You don't think that's being fired from the presence of Prophet and he doesn't know on, on which front who's firing what? They're in, already in a battle with shaitan. You're just entering the battle from Maqam al-Ihsan, the, the pitna from the people of dunya. But the spiritual battle has already been battled, means they're continuously firing out knowledges to dispel the fire and the ignorance of shaitan. And everything that been firing out is ever witnessed by Prophet And he knows from where who's firing the most. That you should research on the internet yourself, who puts out the most articles. Who puts out the most videos, who puts out the most of these books, these realities, all of these things. So if you look on a spiritual map you see this barrage of missiles being fired towards this shayateen and this shayateen empire. So <clears throat> yes it's ever witnessed by Prophet so this khidmat is immense, spreading light and hope and spreading knowledges of good character. And the reality and the love of Prophet because it's the key to people's salvation. So that don't lose your love for Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi <coughs> Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Can we publish Sufi meditation in a meditation app that caters to Western audience? What does that mean? <clears throat> you can take anything from us and, and it's all copywritten, right? So you can't take our stuff and make an app because we are, have our own app. If you want to make us an app then you have to email our organization. But you can't take our content and make your own products. So you take our videos and share them, take the articles and share them. It's like asking, can I take your articles and publish a book? No, no, you 
because it's all copywritten and it's all property of our organization. So anything you want to share from our existing content that drives people back to the source, back to the websites, back to the, the videos. So it's a, it's a battlefield right now. If people could understand it and see it like lights, like we're trying to describe it, you'd see it firing off. A shaitan is throwing fire on people, he's throwing like gasoline on people because it burns their aqeedah, it burns their belief system, everything that shaitan is teaching people. So like they're dousing themselves with gasoline and the world of light is sending realities that hit the person and illuminate them with lights. If it should sick into the heart that light is very difficult to extinguish. That it hits them and they begin to say, you know, don't want to follow this satanic system, I don't want to be angry, I don't want you know all the things that shaitan is, is putting upon people. So it's very powerful and it's ever witnessed because now there's full-fledged battle in the heavens. Shaitan is trying to destroy as many people as quick as possible. <coughs> as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Just want to say thank you so much. Uh, because I've been watching your videos I was able to stop smoking and vaping for almost a year now. Thank you so much. Uh, MashaAllah, alhamdulillah. Very dangerous, they spread that now into Southeast Asia. <clears throat> That's more dangerous than cigarettes and we have talks on that from five years ago. That uh, heat related smoking, it can only go so deep into the lungs. So the vaping and the concept of vaping, shaitan wanted to kill them even faster. So he put it through a cold smoke. That cold smoke can go deep into the lungs with the satanic energy and crystallize in the lungs and they say after one or two uses you could have permanent damage to your lungs. And the lungs are the most important part for spirituality. It is the nafas al rahmah the breath of the most merciful. Those whom have uh, their breath and they gain spiritual energy through their breath. They empower their heart, their blood and their entire being by the secret of their breath. Anyone who contaminates their breath, destroys their breath then we understand why shaitan is doing that. So he's spreading it like wildfire into Indonesia and Malaysia and Southeast Asia, Singapore which is just insane because it's just so, so horrific and so anti-spiritual and the destruction of the spiritual process of somebody. InshaAllah guide them and throw that out. <clears throat> as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi as you mentioned that angels are surrounding the association where mawlid and khatams are done Sayyidi, what kind of beings surrounding when tajalli of zikr of a majlis is jalali? What kind of… what was the last part? Uh, what kind of beings surrounding when tajalli of zikr is jalali? Same as angels, there's uh, all the categories that are, are, are always in the presence of the zikrs, the khatams, the salawats is the Buddha, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Akhyar and uh, malaika and jinn from these categories. So means seven categories of spiritual beings are always present in the, in the zikrs. So it doesn't change who's there if it's Jalal or Jamal, it just what's the tajalli Allah is going to be sending down then they all take that tajalli and they dis disseminate that tajalli to all of the in inhabitants of that reality or all the participants of that reality. So Allah describes that your Lord is a, a different tajalli at every moment. So these beatific lights and beatific fragrances and realities are a continuous flow that coming down onto the association. And the other ones that are higher they just basically are sending those tajallis down. They take what they take and they send the rest down, inshaAllah.
Assalamualaikum Shaykh. Wa alaikum salam. Shaykh, people are posting, re- related to these events these days, people are posting brands we need to stop buying so we're not indirectly supporting the bad events happening. Is this something we need to do to avoid being indirectly involved? <coughs> Yeah, that's not something to comment on because everything is involved by everyone. So this is a ridiculous thing. Everyone is supporting satanic systems. So either we're going to grow our own tomatoes and grow our own meat and grow our own hamburgers and uh, what are we going to do? So uh, your bank, your credit card, your <coughs> gas, your car, your wh- what isn't? So I think they, they target some corporations and and try to again do political things. We're not a political people. They find that this is their fight. So you have to sort of divorce yourself from listening to this type of guidance. You know when they tell everybody fast on a particular day, is it okay? Fasting is a noble act. The dangerous act is when you start to listen to somebody. So they're not your guide, they're not your shaykh and the danger of listening to them is then you do this then tomorrow you do that and before you know it you're listening to the wrong people. So if you want to fast for somebody who's in difficulty, fast any day you want. Don't listen to them and political movements. So we're not a political people. If you don't want to eat cheeseburgers anymore then don't eat cheeseburgers it's probably better for you. But don't listen to other people, do your spiritual connection. This is the greatest, greatest battle. When Allah says, we said again, we don't change a condition of a people until they change what's within themselves. If we all took this energy to change ourselves, the world would be a beautiful place. But we all like to be the same rotten people going out now and and spreading our thoughts and our opinions to people. So that doesn't change anything, it just puts it out onto the street now. So tariqahs come to teach, fix yourself, fix all of your oppression, all your bad character, fix all your anger. If you fixed all of those then you talk and email us that, Shaykh I've uh, completed everything, I've fixed all my things, I've killed my shaitan. But nobody reaches that, so this is a distraction from shaitan. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, regarding juzba, when people unlike others without even knowing or talking to them, can this come from their souls not liking them in the spiritual realm before it manifests? That's pretty deep for somebody just not liking you on an on a internet, you mean unliking somebody? Most of the people who like you on the internet you don't even know who they are anyways. So who cares if they unlike you, it's not from any juzba or spiritual reality, it's spirituality very, very complicated, very, very deep and it's not as petty as the internet and social media. You don't, don't mix the two, they're not anything alike, one is like a, a garbage can. And the other one is heavenly realities. The people you come across from heavenly realities you're talking about Allah's kingdom. That's not the same. The internet is a garbage can who comes and goes, oh who knows what's in that, that pile. Who came, who went, who cursed you, who liked you, who didn't like you, who sent it, didn't send it. From that you can pull out good ones like you know uh, digging for gold. From amongst that bin you pull out things that could be precious and they may come to tariqah, they may come towards guidance and and towards realities and then they begin to follow the channels, follow the teachings and and follow guidance, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amin yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, 
Our water well give the gift of life. Our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.